Hello and welcome to this week's Thursday with Annette. I've got my apron, I've got my cookbook ready, so we're delving into a book for this week and we're making a fabulous salad. I mean, salad can be boring, not my way, people. So we're making this awesome warm chicken salad with a mango dressing. It is so yum and I love making it when I've got a few people over because who doesn't love a fancy salad? So before I get into showing you how easy this recipe is, I just want to talk to you for a minute because if you've been struggling on your own to lose weight with little or no results, why don't you join my six week weight loss autumn challenge. Now it starts on the 28th of February and you'll get all the support you need. Weekly menu plans, I make them up myself, packed with delicious healthy meals and snacks, videos and articles to teach you how to live that healthy fabulous lifestyle that you want and you get direct email access to me so I can answer all your questions. There's also a fantastic private Facebook community group where you'll be inspired and supported by like-minded people. Well, I'm sorry, does that sound a bit fabulous? Because it is. So join up now because it starts soon. So go to simplytogood.com.au forward slash membership. So this is all happening. I love this challenge. So let's go into the kitchen. I've got my watermelon chum board already. I've got my Neoflame fry pan. I've got my very old Breville blender, but I'm not giving it up because I love it. <laughs> it may not look great, but I love it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a sauce or a dressing, a salad and chicken. All right, super easy, don't, don't panic and don't forget, we have winner winner chicken dinner at the end, so make sure you tune in for that. So what we need to make the dressing is a can, a 425 gram can of mango. Now you could use fresh, but you need some of the juice in the can to help with it. So that's why I use the can. And that means you can make it even when mangoes are out of season. We're gonna use some low salt soy sauce, some fish sauce and sweet chili sauce. So that's for the dressing. Now for the chicken, I've got tenderloins, beautiful little chicken tenderloins. We want 500 grams of that. Now you can swap it if you want, and I have done it because I love this salad a lot, um, and replace it with diced fish fillets. So, um, you know, boneless. So you could do that if you wanted to. So 500 grams of the chicken tenderloin. Now we're gonna coat the chicken with some um, dried onion flakes, a little bit of Cajun seasoning, and some stock powder so it backs a punch. And then the, the salad, which will be lettuce, cucumber, capsicum, tomato, and some red onion. So are you ready? Because it's gonna be fantastic. All right, so let's start with doing the, the dressing first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drain the mango. All right, so let's do that first goes in my little rubbish bin. Now what you do is I want you to look at it and pick a quarter of it out. So just have a look at it and see what you think. That to me looks about a quarter. It's very soft because it's canned, but I'm going to dice it. And this way you get just a little bit of texture in the dressing. All right, so I'm gonna put that in this little bowl. So a quarter of the mango, just small dice. And then what we're gonna do is the remainder of the mango, I'm going to puree it. So I'm gonna put it into a deep dish so it doesn't splatter. So in goes the remainder of the mango. And what we do then is get a measure cup and measure a quarter of a cup of the liquid. And that's going to go in as well. So a quarter of a cup. Here we go. Done with that. Put this into the mango. It's very easy. Then we're going to put in a quarter of a teaspoon of fish sauce. You just want a little bit because it's quite strong and quite high in salt as well. So we just want a quarter of a teaspoon because we want to give it a bit of a tang. You want... Um, a teaspoon, just a teaspoon of soy, the low salt. Always use the low salt. There we go. And then two teaspoons of the sweet chilli sauce. 
So you can see it's just flavour city for this dressing. Okay, let me put the lid on that. Don't need that anymore. And we're going to zhuzh. So get my good old faithful and just blend it. And we're just going to put that to the side while we prep up the chicken. Perfect. I want to get all that in. And then what you do is you're going to put the mango in. There we go. So that's our sauce done. Let me just give that a, a mix up. Let's just put that over there to the side because what we're going to do now, let me get rid of the blender. Where is it? I'm going to just now do the, the uh, chicken. All right, so we get a bag and we're going to coat the chicken. I think this is a fun uh, salad and it kind of looks a bit fabulous. So people think you've worked really hard on it, but you haven't really. I mean, it's just fantastic. So what we're going to do is we're going to put two teaspoons of dried onion flakes into the freezer bag. Going to put in, let me check, I've got to make sure I've got it right, a teaspoon, get a dry spoon, teaspoon of chicken stock powder, that I, I like the macelle because I think it, it does, you know, make it fabulous and it's low in salt and two teaspoons of Cajun. So this will give it a kick and it coats the whole 500 grams of chicken, remember. So this is Cajun seasoning. There we go. This isn't too hard, is it? Thanks for joining me today. I love cooking for you on a Thursday. I've missed it. And it's just so lovely to be back. So let's get all these. This is enough for six people as a salad. So then just mix it around. That's it. And if you're doing it with a fish, you can do it in strips of fish, like you're doing, imagine it's like a, a loin of chicken, so you're getting a similar size. And uh, it's, it's really nice. Gosh, you could even do this, Bill. We could do this with salmon. Wouldn't it be nice with diced salmon, like slits, slits, uh, slits of, of salmon? Of course, it would be a different fat count, because salmon's quite high in fat. But it's a good fat, isn't it? All right. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over because I want to start cooking the chicken. We're going to use the uh, rice bran spray, of course, because that's what we use for the neoflam. Don't have it too hot because you'll find that the onion flakes can burn, um, but that's all right. And while the chicken's cooking, I'm going to get the salad ready. Dressing's done, just got to do the salad. This is not hard, is it? Now, remember, it's out of book four. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay the pieces of chicken down. Let me just turn that up a bit. And you'll see it's coated with all that lovely spices, which is fabulous. There we go. And the fat count is really good. It's like 2.3 grams of fat for the chicken. Isn't that wonderful? And the fish, oh, all gone. <laughs> and the fish is 1.1, uh, so it's even more fabulous. All right, I'm going to wash my hands. A bit sticky icky. Now I've got this wonderful platter that I use when I make this recipe because I think it looks so fantastic, because I love a shared thing. Like we've got Valentine's coming up, so if you're um, thinking of making a special little lunch, even just for the family, because you can, your kids can be your Valentine's as well, why not? Um, this would be a fun dish to have. I might turn that down. All right, so I've got the lettuce, already washed and ready to go. Now remember, it's for six. And I used, uh, if you're wondering what lettuce I've used, I've used oak leaf. Um, just because I thought it, 
it looks really good with the salad, you know, because it's got your different colours. I'll just turn it over so it looks a bit better. And then we're going to do a punnet of cherry tomatoes. You might want to cut them in half, it's up to you. And you could get the rounder ones. There's so many different types now. There's those fabulous ones that are all different coloured as well, which look great. All right. Then we're going to do a large capsicum. We're going to cut it in half. And that's going to go over the salad. And you want to cut it in strips. So I'm going to cut that in half shake out the uh, seeds and just take off the, the white pith, isn't it, Bill? Pith? Yep. Yeah. And cut. You could have any colour capsicum you like. Because we've got the red coming from the tomatoes, that's why I've picked green. Just depends if you have a preference. And then just sprinkle it over. And I say in the recipe to do uh, like 24 slices of cucumber. And I do that because I have to be exact on the nutritional breakdown because that makes a difference to the fibre and the calories and everything like that. So, but basically just chop up a, a capsicum, I mean a cucumber. There we go. That's that done. How's the chicken doing? I might give it a turn, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it just on the top and turn that over. Oh, yum. Smells so good. And because they're, they're the tenderloins, you don't really want to overcook them because they can get dry. So just watch your cooking time. And uh, that'll be perfect. All right, so we're going to do a cucumber. And it's thin slices. I like this type of cucumber because, you know, the skin's really nice on it as well. What could look fun was the baby cubes. If you could, you know, you could slice them up and do that if you wanted. And there is... So it's basically just making up a great salad and you could really add other salad ingredients if you wanted. You know what I mean? You could do a little bit of like purple onion would be nice. Um, purple cabbage I mean would be a bit nice on that I reckon. So there's your cucumber, lettuce, tomato and capsicum and now I'm going to do the red onion and I want to do it in slices and it says a small one so I'm just going to do that much. If your family don't like onion, like if you're making this for the kids, you might want to not put onion on it. Um, but it is really nice with the onion as well. Break it all up. Look at this. I mean, healthy, you just, it's just so good for you to eat this beautiful natural coloured food. And that's the problem with a lot of people that are very overweight. They eat, they tend to eat a lot of brown and white food and they also eat in the dark and that can make a difference as well. So you want to just, little tips there and I'll give you a lot of uh, great information to help support you as you lose weight when you sign up to the program as well. It's just super fabulous. All right, so let's clean up my mess because basically we've just got to put the chicken on the top We've got to put the chicken on the top. It's looking a bit fantastic. Yeah, it's pretty close. I'm going to move a couple of the ones that are in the centre to the edge so that everyone's getting an even amount. It looks very close. And how you can check if the chicken's cooked is you can cut it in the middle there and if it's white, then the chicken's cooked. But if you still see a little bit of a pink colour, then it's not cooked through yet. And you really don't want raw chicken. That would not be good. And sometimes what I've done as well is I've actually cut these into slices. 
and put it over the top, which is a, it just seems like you get more chicken then and it can, people can um, spread it over. And the dressing is done. So while that's cooking, with I haven't got long to go, let me move this. I'm going to tell you how you can win a cookbook. So if you would like to win this fabulous book four, all you have to do is like, share, and then in the comments, you know what you've got to do. It hasn't been that long since you've seen the show. You write in the comments, hashtag simply with a Y, too good. Simply too good, and I'll pick three winners, and you will be notified if you are a winner. So that's fantastic. And if you want any more tips or recipe ideas, just go to simplytogood.com.au and don't forget the mentoring program. You need to be in it. It's going to really help change your life and that starts on the 28th of February. And, and so check it out anyway. Now I reckon my chicken is looking fabulous. I'm really happy with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the chicken down the middle How's this? How amazing is this salad? And imagine serving this to your guests. Everyone will just go, oh, wow, you're so clever. <laughs> All right, now the best bit, of course, is the mango dressing. Oh, yes. So I'm going to put some over the middle. Oh, yes. And then over the salad. Look at that. I mean, who knew weight loss could be so deliciously healthy? And if you tell me salad's boring, then you're not looking in my cookbooks, that's for sure, because this is just one salad. There's salads in all the books. And there we go. Warm chicken salad with mango dressing. Yum! <laughs> So don't forget to, you know, um, tune in for next week because I'm going to be making a great recipe that I think is so much better than what you buy in the shops. It's my gluten-free chewy muesli bar. Great for the kids, great for the big kids. I love it. And the fact that it's gluten-free is a bonus. So I will catch you next week. So I hope you make this and your family are wowed by your brilliance. Take care, everybody, and talk to you and see you next Thursday. Bye now.